So on that map of where the baboons live, that arrow there points to where the Amboseli Baboon Research Project is. Um, so it's in the country of Kenya, all right? So Kenya's on East Africa, and, and especially where we live is like right on the border with Tanzania. And you'll also see s it's on this border between like that light gray kind of baboon and the dark gray kind of baboon. So they're actually on a hybrid zone between the yellow baboon and the Anubis baboon. Um, and so they breed together, um, that zone's been there for a long time. We don't actually know what maintains it. Like, why don't they just all breed together and then the species is all just one, you know, or like they all just become the same type. We don't actually know why that is. Uh, but, so there's these two different types that are there. They breed with each other. Uh, and that's where they are. And the place where we work is a national park. So it's Amboseli National Park. So there's not just baboons there. There's lots of other animals there. Uh, so there's elephants there. I used to spend a lot of time working on elephants and studying elephants there. Uh, we also have all the predators, you know, that they would need to worry about, so that baboons would worry about. So that would be lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas. Um, yeah, just all. It, it's basically a, an intact African ecosystem where there's tons of wild animals, okay? Um, it's at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro, so it's very beautiful. You can see this, you know, when you're there, you can actually see the mountain maybe in the background behind the lion. Um, you know, the mountain sort of looms over everything. Uh, and it's the, otherwise, it's very flat, okay? So in addition to there being all these animals, there's also a lot of people that live in the, in Amboseli National Park. Um, and so that's, uh, some of the people that are there are tourists, so they're there to see all the animals. You know, they're, they're coming out, they're on vacation, they want to see all the baboons and the elephants. Um, a lot of the people who are there are also um, the local community who've lived there for hundred, hundreds of years, and those people are the Maasai, okay? And then there's also people like me who are researchers who are out there, I'm not really a tourist, but I'm sort of trying to get some work done. And it's a very interesting place to work because what the tourists want and what the local community wants and what I want as a researcher aren't always the same thing. Um, and so we all have to sort of work together uh, in order to get along and, and get, get our work done. 